So in this recording we're looking at Edexcel S2 June 2010 question 7 and we're going to be looking at continuous random variables. So in this question we've got a, a random variable y and it has a PDF defined as below and notice the support goes from 0 to 3 and we're told that k and a are positive constants. And What we have to do in this question firstly is try to explain why a is greater than or equal to 3 and also find the relationship that k is equal to 2 over 9 a minus 2. So it all comes down to the support. We have to recognize that f of y must be greater than or equal to 0 for all values of y. So if we analyze this, we've got three fun factors, k, y, and a minus y. And of course, I'm only dealing with the fact that y is between 0 and 3. Now, to do this, we need to realize a few things. So k is always positive, so I don't need to worry about that y is always positive as long as I'm between 0 and 3, which is equally good. So really, I only need to consider this function here, a minus y. Now, I need to make sure that this is always positive. So in other words, a minus y must always be greater than or equal to 0. Now, I know that y max on the interval is equal to 3. So therefore, I know that a minus 3 must always be greater than 0, so a must always be greater than or equal to 3. Otherwise, that factor of a minus y will end up being negative, and we can't have that. OK, so we've got two marks for this section, m1 and a1. And really, they are for a sensible justification about using factors. You could use core 1 maths here to think about drawing a sketch and solving an inequality. That would equally be as fine. OK, so for part 2, we've got to show that k is equal to um, 2 over 9a minus 2. OK, so to do this, we need to realize that we're integrating over all values of y, f of y, and that must give me 1. OK, so in this particular case, we're nice, we've only got one support, 0 to 3. k can come out of the integral, and I'm left with integrating ay minus y squared dy. OK, and by doing that integration, I'm going to get k ay squared over 2 minus y cubed on 3 between 0 and 3, which evaluates to k lots of um, 9a over 2 minus 27 over 3, which is 18 over 2. You'll see why I've done it over 2 in a minute. And that must equal 1. OK, so going up to the top here, that tells me that I've got k is equal to 9 lots, sorry, k times by 9 lots of a minus 2 must equal 2, so k is equal to 2 over 9a minus 2, as required. So how do the marks work for this? Well, you get method 1 for doing an integration, and you get an accuracy one for doing it correctly. You get a method mark for setting the integral to equal 1, and then an a mark for getting the uh, correct expression at the end. So now we're given expectation of y equals 1.75 and we need to show that a is equal to 4 and write down the value of k. So even if we couldn't find a, uh, we can always find the value of k uh, for that one mark at the end. So here we go. We need to recognize that e of y is equal to the integral, in this case from 0 to 3, of y times by k y a minus y. It's going to equal y times the function of y. So tidying up and sorting gives me the integral from 0 to 3 of a y squared minus y cubed. The k can come out for a second. So carrying out this integration is going to give me k lots of a y cubed on 3 minus y to the 4 on 4 between 0 and 3. And I know that that is going to give me a value of 1.75. So carrying on the calculation, that's going to give me 9a minus 81 over 4 is equal to 1.75. So there's lots of ways of tidying this up, but substituting for k now would be a good idea. So k was equal to 2 over 9a minus 2. OK, so we substitute that in now. We're going to get 2 lots of 9a minus 81 on 4 must equal 1.75 times by 9 a minus 2. So that's going to give me 18a minus 81 over 2 is equal to 15.75a minus 2. 
A little bit of rearranging now is going to show me that I'm going to have 2.25a is equal to minus 31.5 plus 81 over 2 and we can solve that equation to show that a is equal to 4. Uh, so k therefore is 2 over 9 lots of 4 minus 2 and that gives me the value of k that I want which is 1 ninth. Okay, so let's have a look at how the marks are allocated here. So six marks in total. So you're going to get one mark for doing a correct multiplication by y and an integration. You're then going to get the accuracy mark for doing that correctly. We're then going to set it, setting your limits to be 0 to 3 and evaluating it to 1.75 gives you your method mark. Your second method mark is then given to substituting in the value of k that we found earlier and then you get an accuracy mark for the value of a. You then get a b mark for working out what k is based on the value of a being 4. No other answer would be follow through here because you're told what a is equal to. Okay, so the question continues. We're then asked to sketch the PDF. Okay, so the PDF, um, we know that a is 4, so that helps. So for part c, we're going to have a graph that goes from 0 to 4. Now, your support only goes up to 3. So I know I'm going to have a parabola that is symmetric on the interval to 2. So it's going to go through 0, it's going to go up to 2, and then it's going to come down to 3. OK, so any sort of shape like that would be fine. Uh, you get B1 for recognizing it's a quadratic, and you get another B1 for making sure that it doesn't touch the axis for a second time. OK, uh, and then for part D, we're asked to write down the mode. Now, the mode is the highest point on the graph. Um, you could do this using calculus if you wanted, but as you've got a sketch, we can clearly see that the mode in this particular case is uh, when y is equal to 2. Uh, so we get another B mark for that aspect. So sketches are useful. If you can sketch a PDF, it tells you an awful lot about what the function is going to be.